Hello mga artsy, this is Mrs. V. Welcome to my Arting Penmanship. In this video, I will teach you to connect your letters. We've done with the uh, basic drills and or strokes. And last week we had that strokes to letters. And now we, we will combine those letters to form a word. If you haven't seen those videos yet, I will put the links into the description box and also on the top on the card for you. Alright, so if you have your pen and paper ready with you, let's get started. Alright, for this tutorial, I will be using Pencil Fish Touch in red and black. And I'll be also using my practice notebook, which is a math notebook. You could use any grade notebook, a math notebook like this, as long as it has smooth texture because it can easily glide your brush. Your, or your brush pen you could also use any um, paper as long as with lines or dotted okay let's start with our connecting letters for most letters we have this called um, entry entry line for example and then I will be writing for example a there and exit line Again, so this is the entry line, and this is the exit. Okay, now we are going to use the exit line of the letter to connect to the next one. Okay, so that's the use of extended or exit line. For example, we will be writing the word joy, okay, as an example. Okay, so let's write it here okay so there for the J I could actually cut this line here but I extended it a bit now let's do the oval there you go and let's write the word or the letter Y okay there so that's the word joy okay number one that you will need to take note is the spacing okay the spacing between the letters not two of the letters should be in the same spacing it takes a lot of practice it should not be this is there is a small space here and there's a big space here all right but if you are going to do a styling well you can extend more of this space most of the time we extend most of this space but not um but not short space okay you need to take note is would be also the connection okay I will be getting another okay I will be using this red okay so I got my ruler here so look here to your connections all right there you go the J here and the connection of the O to the Y here it's on the same height okay that's it and the next thing that you need to look at would be the curves of your letters as well okay so there, there are three things again the, that would be the spacing of your letters the height of your connection line and the curves of your letters Okay, for this word joy, let's try to make it longer. Like, let's write the word enjoy. Okay. So, be writing enjoy. If you have your pens and papers with you, write with me. Okay, there. Okay. 
Okay, so let's check this. I think it's spacing. Okay. The connection lines, the same height. Okay, so this is a little. Um, I think this the space of the E and N is quite short a bit than these. So we have to practice writing again, or we can write it again. All right. Also, that we need to, if you notice, if I do writing, I left my pen most of the time to connect it to the next one. That's actually what we do in calligraphy. We lift our pen more than writing, than in the handwriting because when we do handwriting most of the time we do not lift our pen like when you write cursive okay example so I do not lift up my pen right I just lift it up when I put a dot on the J but Every time you write, you lift up your pen. Okay, let's try to write the word enjoy again. Let's try to make a little bit more space on the E and the N because we have that mistakes and I do not like it. That's the good thing about calligraphy. You would be excellent because if you think that your writing or your work is not good, you're going to repeat it and repeat it. You're going to... Mm, Practice it more so you can be perfect. Okay, so let's write again the word enjoy. There. Okay, see how many times I left my pen there? <laughs> okay. So here, the E and the N, you could actually cut it here or here, but extend it a bit there. So let's try to write enjoyable. Okay, that will that it makes a little bit um, longer. Okay, let's try to write it here. Enjoyable. Okay, and there extend and lift your pen and J. There extend and lift your pen. O. Okay, the oval. Okay. Extend and again, lift your pen. All right. There. Curve. Extend and lift your pen. Okay, now we will be right. We will be doing enjoyable this time. So instead of having the loop at the end going down, we went here going up okay now let's do it again or let's continue there you go extend and lift your pen all right Okay, there you go. Enjoyable. Okay, now let's try to write some um, letter, letter connections. 
Okay, so we have done with the joy and enjoyable. Let's try to write T and H because that's actually common common letter um, combinations. Okay, so let's try T and H. We could write the T like this. Alright, extend and lift your pen, then a loop here, okay, so the loop would be touching the exit line of the T, and then there. You could put the crossbar there, or you could put the crossbar here. But most of the time, I do this crossbar. It shows the connection of the T and H. Okay, so let's try the T and H one more time. Okay, there. So, so I lift up my pen. Then when I write in cursive like that, right? So here, the first letter or first stroke, I lift up my pen. And of course, extend. Okay, so let's do the loop. And there you go. And so here, you could do the crossbar like that. Okay, so let's try one more time with the T and H. I will make this bigger. Okay, there you go, and then a loop, then the crop, um, sorry, the compound curve here, then crossbar. There you go, TH. Like for example, we will be writing this. There. There you go. Okay, now let's try to write the word the. Okay, so for the, let's try it again. Here, let's try the T and the H. Okay, there you go. And E here. All right, for the the and this, I made the exit line differently. For this one, I my ex the exit line of the H is here, so I have so I can write the I easily. Then here, my exit line of the H is on the half. So I can write the E there. Now, we will be connecting letters like W and H. Okay, so for, so for W and H, like when we write W. Okay, for this one, the exit line would be here. This one, this is the exit of the W. But instead of writing H, instead of having the H, we will be connect. We will have this connection line here. Okay, so let's do this again. W H. We could have an extension like that, and we could continue with the loop. And there because if you won't have this connection line it will look odd okay I'll show you why okay there and then if you do this it doesn't look like WH anymore right 
and it's weird so this is wrong this is the correct one what about WR okay WR is also um, letter combination that's a little difficult okay so let's say W and R so what we are going to do is that we will extend a little bit more of here we will cut the entry line of the R here and extend it or we'll have a loop here okay for example we have we will we'll be writing it again okay extend a bit there there's a loop then you could have like that you could also lower the loop here like this so we'll have a loop there this, the R there you go Or we could have we could write the R differently, but the same oops, I write it the same way. Okay, let's try it one more time. We could extend that a little. There you go there's the wr okay remember okay before we end our tutorial remember the three things that we need to that we need to look into when we are connecting letters the first one would be the entry line the exit line of your letters then the spacing the curve and also the line connections that's our tutorial today i hope you learned something in this video how to connect the letters if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so you will be updated to my latest uploads remember that practice makes perfect and perfect makes permanent so keep on practicing keep on writing till next time